Hello! Today we're going to talk about uh, Meghan Markle and her family and the ties that she had with her family. So the media have always tried to, to portray the Markle family as a super tight family, even if they're bitching on each other. Samantha Markle in her book also wrote that the family was uh, a very united family and uh, super tight with each other despite all the disagreement and stuff. She made people think that she was very close to uh, Meghan Markle and that Meghan Markle ghosted them. So I have an interview of Meghan Markle's half-brother son. His name is Tyler Dooley and he was talking at the time about his relationship with Meghan Markle and strangely enough he's supported Meghan Markle and he said that he didn't expect to be invited to the wedding because they didn't have a tight-knit family anyway. This is what he says. It was never like we had a super tight-knit family before, to be honest. He told that to the son. He said, but the fact that now the whole world gets to see how my father or Aunt Samantha behaves, it's like an open wound for everyone to see. That's the hardest part. The fact that there is no privacy, it is hard to deal with. It's embarrassing and sad at the same time. My father and my aunt have sold my grandfather out, sold my family out, sold Megan out, and it's been hard to deal with. He also adds that they were never a really tight family. And this is what Megan said before. She said that she never had that one single family unit that, that she craved so much. And that's why Prince Harry said the family that she never had. So you have here Tyler Dooley, who speaks the truth. Strangely enough, it was never reported anywhere else than The Sun. Usually when The Sun writes something, The Sun is a British tabloid. When The Sun writes something, usually it's uh, spread out in different newspapers and tabloids as well, like the Daily Mail and other mirror and stuff. But this one was never published. And you have this guy here, he has nothing to, to get from Megan. He's rich on his own way because he set up a CBD plant company and he's making a lot of money. He even showed online all his cars to show that he doesn't need to be paid by Megan. But he's saying the truth about his family and the rest of the family. So anywho, this is to say that people who believe Samantha are very silly and are very naive because she's a very, very good manipulator. She knows how to twist things. Her own daughter, Noelle, said so. She said her mother was always jealous of Meghan Markle and was saying horrible stuff about her because her life didn't end up being what she hoped it would be and she always admired Meghan Markle's uh, life. So anywho, this is to say that Meghan Markle and her family were never close. She might have been close to her dad, but when it comes to her half-siblings, she was never close to them. She occasionally took pictures with them, but that's it. Like when she wrote the letter to her dad, she said, your daughter that I barely know, and this is coming from her, and it's been validated by Tyler Dooley. So I don't know why the haters still hate Meghan Michael calling her names for ghosting a family she was never close to in the first place. Anywho, hope you liked the video. Feel free to click on like if it's the case. Subscribe for more videos and click on the notification bell to be not notified when I post a new video. Thank you.